today we will be talking about Hanzo, the Shimada clan assassin who plays the role of a defense hero in Overwatch. While being defined as a defense hero, Hanzo can definitely pull his weight as an attack hero, quickly dispatching of priority targets, providing the team with valuable information on enemy positioning, thanks to his sonic arrow, or simply breaking enemy lines with a well placed dragon strike. When fully charged, Hanzo's weapon deals a total of 125 damage on body shot and 250 damage on headshot which allows you to take out most of the heroes in a single well placed shot, with the exception of few tags of course. While his uncharged arrow being fairly weak, dealing only 29 damage on body shot, having slow projectile speed and a horrible arc, it can still be useful at finishing off low HP targets at close range. Thanks to his wall climb ability, Hanzo can hit his enemies from unexpected angles, allowing you to easily get around Reinhardt's shield and choke points and take out the squisher targets, or give the tank run for their money with a wall place scatter arrow which can deal upwards of 450 damage if all the arrows connect, or simply confuse your enemies by jumping over walls and allowing your team to do their thing. Now, just like with every marksman hero, positioning is the key to playing well. When playing Hanzo, you'll quickly notice that in most scenarios getting caught out of position means certain death. Let's take a look at the video playing in the background. In this clip, I and my team are defending a secured point on Liang's tower. I quickly take out Farah with a wall placed headshot, fall back and use my dragon strike to stop the enemy push. Now, after the one skirmish, I decide to push up and engage the Farah, not realizing that the enemy Roadhog has already respawned and is on his way back. Before I get to retreat, I'm already dead, later on costing my team the point which we could have kept if I stayed in position and focused on taking down targets from medium range. When just starting out as Hanzo, do not expect to be great. To become a great Hanzo you will need a lot of practice and patience just like with every other hero. Get familiar and comfortable with the skills, get a grip on positioning and get a feel for what you can and cannot do with the character that you're trying to learn. As always remember to practice and you'll progressively get better. If you enjoyed this guide, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more future content and guides. Peace.